Hello, my name is Joshua Calloway and I'm Technical Project Manager for QuickLearn. QuickLearn is the world leader in .NET, SharePoint, and BizTalk server training and consulting. Our instructors have taught more developers and administrators how to successfully build and manage BizTalk Enterprise solutions than any other company in the world. We offer public and private training and mentoring solutions worldwide. For more information about our courses and to view additional tutorials, please visit quicklearn.com. In this demonstration, you will see how to use the ESB import utility to import an existing XML itinerary to the ESB itinerary DB database. The utility is an effective tool for importing itineraries in a production environment without the need to open each itinerary in Visual Studio to manually export to the database. Before we actually take a look at the utility itself, let's first examine the itinerary we'll be importing as well as the ESB Itinerary DP database into which we'll be importing the existing itinerary. Here you can see we've already created the ESB import demo itinerary. This is a very simple itinerary that takes a message and routes it to a static location. In this case, C demo. Now, we're not really concerned with the actions of this itinerary. Only that it's configured to be exported as an XML file and that the export location is C demo ESB import demo.xml. So let's go ahead and export the itinerary XML. All right, we've exported the itinerary to C demo ESB import demo.xml. And you can see here the XML has opened in Visual Studio. We have the name of the itinerary, ESB import demo, and we have the version number 1.1. Now that we've exported the itinerary, just so you know there aren't any tricks up my sleeve, I'll go ahead and close the itinerary designer. Next, let's take a look at the repository to verify that the ESB import demo itinerary has not already been deployed. Here we can look at the itinerary table of the ESB itinerary DB database. And if we refresh the query, we'll see that we have four itineraries deployed, none of which are named ESB import demo. Now let's take a look at the import utility. To do this, we'll open a command prompt and change its directory to the location that hosts the import utility. Now we'll type ESB import util.exe and we can take a look at the available switches for the utility. Use the F switch to define the location of the itinerary XML file you wish to import and the C switch to define whether the itinerary should be published or deployed. The O switch, of course, will overwrite any existing itinerary in the database that conflicts with the version currently being imported. There are a couple other switches, N and V, that deal with the default name and version of the itinerary. These are for use with itineraries that are exported to XML in default mode rather than strict mode. After all, itineraries exported in strict mode already contain this information in the itinerary XML. These parameters are automatically ignored when using the utility to work with strict itineraries. So let's go ahead and run the utility and import ESP import demo to the database as a published itinerary. We'll run our command to deploy the XM file found at C demo ESP import demo dot XML. You can see the XML file was imported successfully to the database. And if we return to SQL Server and execute our query again, you'll see the ESB import demo itinerary has been added to the database. It has a major version of 1 and a minor version of 0. And if we scroll to the right, we can see the status is deployed as indicated by the 1 in the in status field. In this demonstration, you saw how to use the ESP import utility tool 
to import an itinerary XML file to the ESP Itinerary DB database.